That's an idiom in Chinese called Gua Tin Li Ha, literally translated on the melon field under the pear tree. Roughly means put yourself under the circumstances to be suspicious of the crime. This is exactly what happened Justin Tudor place himself in past Wednesday on the floor of House of Commons. In the process, he elbowed Ruth Ellen Brasol, which caused an uproar in the House and a lot of accusations. I've seen nothing, nothing like we saw last night. The Prime Minister physically grabbing people, elbowing people. Not only was this the furthest thing from a feminist act. And finally, an apology. I completely apologize. I apologize for crossing the floor, but I apologize to the member and to all parliamentarians. I'd like to apologize directly to the member for Berthier Masquinonger. I'm not saying Justin's action is right. That's why he has to apologize for this and, in fact, three times. Obviously, he has some anger management issues to deal with. The incident shows us, however, our House of Commons is totally dysfunctional. Started with the bill they are dealing with right at the time, the legislations of assisted dying. That ends on June the 6th. And so we don't have that, that judicial safeguard. We don't have any of the safeguards that are in the bill. Um, it, it, it is concerning. My view on the bill is simple. People will commit suicide despite having it or not. So, argue against it solely on moral or religious ground is pointless. Giving doctors such power to assist terminally ill patients would lead the patients into a consultation and counselling process. And in the process, doctors can put down some of their fault to go dying, thus decrease fatality. But how much the power doctors should have? Shouldn't it worth further and deeper debate? Reports tell us the environment of the House at the time is toxic, for the Liberal government tries to implement a bill to fast-track the debate and force the voting upright. Then, there's the elbowing. According to Ruth Ellen Rousseau herself, I was elbowed in the chest by the Prime Minister, um, and then I had to leave. It was very overwhelming, um, and so I, I left the chamber to go and sit into the lobby. I missed the vote because of this. Um, I just wanted to clarify and make sure it's clear to all the members in the House that that did happen. Um, thank you. Feminism surely is the victim here, as Elizabeth May witnesses. I saw the Prime Minister approaching and following the Honourable Member, trying to reach her and saying how very sorry he was. He had not seen her behind him. That is the truth. And other Conservative Michelle Rampo put it even more bluntly. Crying Roof is the top of a playlist with minces of the weaker sex. It was all her fault. She brought it on herself, you know. I do admire Miss Brussels' hardworking and tenacity. However, Playing victim, despite never having really been there, not speaking French, and having spent part of the campaign in Vegas. It's just a Vegas-style easy way out. NDP's problem is, as an opposition, they don't know what they are doing at all. So they raise such silly issue to get exposure. But is obstructed by a wall of NDP members. Following the governing party's policy. With one thing in mind getting to balance budgets and protecting the public interest. It's not what an opposition party should do. That's why they lost last November. And now they even lose the vision. This is exactly why they lose the right to govern. And then, that's the Conservative. They simply use the incidents to launch partisan attack. We all know Justin Tudor is in fact doing you a favor and help your party whip out from the group of NDP MPs. So stop pretending to be victim. You are just playing double standard in terms of party benefit. As a result, crying foul in the house is nothing more than an old woman bitching. If NDPs fail in the past election, it's because they don't know what they are doing. Conservative reasons is their mean partisan rhetoric. And today, both Conservatives and NDP want to use this to delay debate of assisted dying. Supreme Court has ordered such law being passed in the House, not passing it just forced the doctors to execute assisted dying without law. Patients' lives and blood are in your own hands. Elbowgate 
is not just Justin Trudeau's scandal. It's the whole House of Commons scandal. Belongs to every party's, every MP's. So, don't laugh, Stephen Harper.